Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I just had to kind of touch base with you guys. It is mid, I think it's the 15th, 15th of May. Like I cannot believe how this year is flying. At least so far it's turning out better than last year. But anyway, I wanted to just touch base and chat to you a little bit about the books I've been reading. I actually kind of sat and went, oh my gosh, I've only read three books so far and I'm a little surprised because I have been devouring books of late. So I have got a, another book haul to show you guys quite soon and you will see I have got plenty to read. Oh my gosh, and to think that I was only three down, I went and then I sat and I thought, oh gosh, one of those books was like 900 pages. It was a tome. And I went, hey, <laughs> three books ain't actually too bad. Anyway, I want to dive in. I want to chat to you guys about it. And let's go. So first off, I decided to start this reading month with Diana, Gav uh, G Diana Gabaldon's Outlander, book one. And I kind of bought this in a box series. If you guys saw my last book haul, I bought this in a box series and I thought I have to watch this and I've kind of been, oh, watch it, what's wrong with it? Yes, watch it. But I had to read this and just, I love when I've watched something, I love reading it because so often they, they do adaptions okay, but not quite, you know, the information is not the same. I don't know if there's any of you out there that do this, please let me know so that I know that I'm, not the only insane one but anyway I watched the series absolutely loved it I love Jamie I love Claire like yeah I absolutely adore and Murta oh my gosh Murta is like my absolute favorite he's like just this quiet little funny Scottish dude that just gets on with things anyway um he's just loyal and just absolutely amazing so I had to read the series it is such a cute little like it feels tiny and um, typically I don't like tiny little books. The reading was not super small, but the pages were so nice and thin and it was actually a really nice, comfortable book to read. I know that's not exactly what you want to hear, but um, it was a nice, comfortable little book to read and I was super excited about, well, not excited. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed how like comfortable it was in my hand to read. So I'm definitely keen to read the rest. It was like 850 pages. So just short of 900. I kind of read it and then watched the series. So I'd read a bit, like watch an episode, read a bit, watch an episode, read a bit more, watch two episodes. <laughs> and then I have not quite caught up on the on the episodes, but I was supremely exp like impressed at how well they kept to the story. And there were only minor things that they changed. And I just... I loved going through it again and I know that might sound silly but like I, you watch the series and everything happens so fast and especially when Jamie in the beginning has this very very heavy Scottish accent of course that carries through the series but you kind of wonder you know you hear what they say but you don't hear exactly what they say and then when you read it you know exactly what they said and you went oh okay I get more of what's happening here so that was probably my favorite part about reading the book everything that happened in the series made more sense um, I just got to enjoy it all, all over again. You know, there were extra bits in here which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, there were a bit more detail around things, a bit more detail around like the whole part where Claire got accused of being a witch. Um, I hope none of you have, although, yeah, I've, yeah, that's spoilery. Anyway, it's the last bit I will do. Um, I will, yes, it's the last I will do. Anyway. Point was, I absolutely loved it. There was more detail in certain things, but the story was so along the line. It was just wonderful to kind of picture it in my head as I read it, watch it on the screen, feel like they're connected completely to to the most part, like 90%. And I'm, I'm excited to read the next one. I'm just not excited to read like the next, next one, as in I think it's actually bigger than this one. So the amount of pages is kind of, a little intimidating I'm not gonna lie but I loved it absolutely loved it so if you guys have seen the series or if you love stuff like that it, it was so absorbing it was that was what I wanted to say I wanted to say that it was so absorbing it was absolutely transportive I felt like I was in the Scottish Scottish hillside experiencing all this stuff and it was just written so eloquently um, it was delicious the detail and 
you literally felt like you were there experiencing all of it um, and the way it all happens it literally happens as you know you as you as you as you read it it feels like you're there experiencing it as it happens it doesn't just fly past you and you know feel like oh, okay a couple of days have passed you literally kind of like um J.R. Tolkien does in in Lord of the Rings you you can feel the time passing but not with the same like with his stuff you feel every second pass this you can feel the days passing it feels accurate time passes at a correct sort of pace it was just beautiful absolutely beautiful i loved it it really felt it, it feels more like historical fiction than it's only got a small element of fantasy but anyway loved it let me carry on before i get lost again i also decided to read another adaption well another series that got adapted this is a middle grade as far as i know but i haven't read it well anyway i decided to kind of catch up on my childhood a little bit and go ahead and read this one and that is percy jackson by rick riordan um, and this was the first installment, The Lightning Thief. I love this. It was just, it was light and I needed something light after that. I needed something, you know, easy to kind of go through. And I really enjoyed the characters in here. There was far more detail than what I expected. It was definitely middle grade. It was a light read. But I quite enjoyed, I enjoyed the monsters. I enjoyed the tale. Like, it really is a fairy tale with, you know, he's a prince. You know, he's been, he's been, well, you know what I mean, he's a demigod, but Percy is obviously a demigod and he faces all these trials and he's got to save his mom, which I thought was really sweet. And he's sort of got a love interest that's not really a love interest that's kind of gotten involved here. And I, I just, yeah, it had all these good feelings and fun and adventure and everything that I was looking for. So that was fantastic. I then watched the movie and enjoyed the movie, but was sorely disappointed at how how against the storyline that movie adaption means oh my gosh but anyway the last book that i read this month was super fun it well the last book that i want to talk about is not really the last book that i read this month but these two authors i see write a lot together they do a lot of co-writing one of them does a lot of co-writing with someone else as well like they are super well known and that is amy kaufman and megan spooner and this was also the beginning of a series called The Other Side of the Sky. Now, in the story you have Nim and, oh gosh, what is his name? It's gone, poof, Prince North, there you go. So you have this land that is in the sky and he is the prince of this land and you have Nim who is their goddess, the, the below, they call it below. So everybody that's actually left on the surface of earth is below. And you have dust, which is like a magical element, and there are dust storms that kind of remake everything that they come across. So down, down below, there are a lot of perils, a lot of danger. Um, she, as the goddess, um, has to kind of lead her people, but she seems to be hindered in a couple of ways. And something happens that North falls to the ground and falls below and the two of them make an alliance to try and meet their respective goals and all along this kind of process you know other things come to light like new challenges new challenges for the throne you know for for things going on all over the place for leadership this was fun i really enjoyed i think probably one of my most favorite parts of this was the innocent sort of love relationship feelings that sort of develop between the two. I thought it was really sweet, really nicely done. It was super like YA in the way that it was done. So, you know, respectful, like, I don't know if that's, that's not the word, but I want to say that anything else is not respectful, but yeah, it was done so innocently. These guys are kids, you know, and I really love the way that it was done. But like I said, my favorite, favorite, favorite part about this was the cat. Like you can see it there. There's this big cat that kind of is such a pivotal, like center point to this companion to the story. I absolutely loved it. I'm looking forward to the second one. It was just a fun, nice, enjoyable story. I thoroughly enjoyed reading this and one thing I also really enjoyed about the book I ended up getting the hardcover here 
is I just, I quite often when, when I read a hardcover, I take off the dust jacket. I just love looking at the spine of this one. It's just absolutely beautiful. So that was it for, well, not that was, that is it for me <laughs> as of mid-May. So this is like just a halfway little wrap up that I wanted to chat to you guys about quickly. I got some fun things I'm kind of reading going forward from here. I am hoping to sort of do a, a read along with, with um, yeah, I'm hoping to do a read along. I'm going to leave it there. So that's going to be interesting on my, well, hopefully on one of my next videos, I'll chat to you guys about that. Probably come the end of the month. We're reading the Wednesday Night Trilogy. I'm super excited about that. I've also started diving into another book that I've got here, Kingdom of the Wicked which arrived fairly recently so i'm sort of starting to dive into that one as well thoroughly enjoying that and yeah i will see you guys soon with the rest of my wrap up for me have a good one bye